regardless of what you and this person have been through, it seems to me like this person feels like you're the only person that they can really trust with this information. Don't rush this process, it's going to happen in divine timing, but it is showing here that you and this person are going to get married in the future. Like, this is your forever after, your happily ever after. It's going to be with that person. It's like they feel very uncomfortable telling you this, but they want to come in and tell you. They want to come in and talk to you. It is a general read, but for some of you, you're done with work. For some of you, you're done with your family. Oh, this energy. I'm like shaky. I, I feel it. You're standing in your power. You're standing in your strength, okay? Perhaps that's why the strength card is here. You're removing yourself from a lot of people, a lot of individuals. Something is being... The moon card stuff is being revealed to you. It's either in your dreams, your meditation. Stuff is just being revealed to you. You're seeing people for who and what they clearly are. And so it's like... Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starcy Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is whatever comes up. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the leak tree leak in the description box below. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for Leo. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. You have the moon, you have Leo, and you have number 12. Mm. I feel like you're being watched. This message keeps coming up for the collective. But it's coming up strong for Lu for you, Leo, excuse me. I feel like you're being washed. And you could be washed by another Leo. Another Leo could be washing you. Or a Cancer. Or Pisces. I'm going to even go as far to say as a Scorpio could be watching you. Mm. Something's happening either June or July something's happening you're you're talking to someone here someone is coming in with communication mm. yeah I, I just feel like after a period of silence someone is about to finally speak some sort of truth to you let's see here what the tarot has oh yeah the cards are very jumpy yeah you see i was seeing I literally said I was seeing Scorpio energy, and we're going to get the death card, which is Scorpio energy. And then you have Queen of Pentacles. Mm. This Queen of Pentacles has to be you, from what I'm picking up from my energy. Okay, one more information. Temperance. King of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Mm. The Emperor. Nine of Pentacles, Strength. You're showing up all over in this read because we have Strength and then we have Leo on the dice. And then we have the Moon again. It's like someone here is coming forward and telling you something. They're telling you some sort of truth. Yeah, this is someone that Okay, this is going to turn into kind of like a love read. I'm just forewarning. But I see here there's someone that sort of left you out in the cold, okay? They didn't really give you any closure. They didn't really tell you what was going on. You never really knew where you stood with this person. And there's an energy here where you're about, you're about to hear from this individual. Okay, they're coming forward. They're speaking some sort of truth here because the moon card is there so there was some sort of secret about this individual that they didn't want you to know okay perhaps they were betrayed perhaps they were locked up in jail there's something here that they really it's like they feel very uncomfortable telling you this but they want to come in and tell you they want to come in and talk to you you know what i'm hearing leo 
Regardless of what you and this person have been through, it seems to me like this person feels like you're the only person that they can really trust with this information. I know it's really weird. It's really out there. But yeah, they seem to feel that they can come to you and tell you this truth, that King of Swords there, and that they can trust you with this information. Hmm. I really, there's such a weird energy in this read, I'm gonna be honest. There's some weird action going on. I feel like something has come to an end on their end, and they want to come and tell you this. Yeah, Five of Wands, and um, here's this Queen of Pentacles. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Is this Leo? Is Leo the Queen of Pentacles? Nine of Swords. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? The Sun in Reverse, Two of Pentacles in Reverse. Oh, so this is you, Leo. You made the decision. You're... What is going on in this read? What is going on? Okay, so you're done with somebody here. Or you're done with several people. You're you're moving forward. You're walking away. You're cutting it off. You're you're done. Like there's something here. You're finished with it. Whether it's work, it could be work, love life, as JDS Tarot would say. Um, work, love life. Okay, so it is a general read. But for some of you, you're done with work. For some of you, you're done with your family. Oh, this energy. I'm like shaky. I I feel it. You're standing in your power. You're standing in your strength, okay? Perhaps that's why the strength card is here. You're removing yourself from a lot of people, a lot of individuals. Uh, like, I just... I feel like a lot of arguing is about to unfold. Because people are going to ask you, well, where are you going? What are you doing? But something is being... The moon card stuff is being revealed to you. It's either in your dreams... Your meditation, stuff is just being revealed to you. You're seeing people for who and what they clearly are. And so it's like you're cutting them off. And it feels to me like this is going to be an overnight decision. You're not going to really think much about this. What is this energy? Good Lord. Okay, that's way too many. I'm not counting that spirit. I am not counting that. Okay. On the love side of things, you have this person that is stalking and watching you. Yeah, this King of Swords, who is also appearing as the Emperor, okay? A very controlling energy. They're obsessively watching over you. They're trying to manifest you, okay? They want you to reach out and talk to them first. I do see it here, but it's not working, okay? You have your walls up when it comes to this person. You're not really paying attention to them. It seems to me like your focus is more so on stuff that's happening in your own personal life. And it's like tying up loose ends, so to speak. Because you're receiving some sort of clarity about certain people or a certain someone in your inner circle. And so you're getting ready to cut this person off. Or you're in the process of cutting this person off or cutting these people off. This could be family. This could be work, okay? You know your story best, right? It is a general read, but yeah, somebody's being cut off. Leo, you're you're done with somebody here. You're you're done with somebody, you're done with several people, you're just done. Okay? I see it here very clearly. And you're taking your power back. Or you already have taken your power back. Yeah, see, look, look. These cards, holy crap. Okay. Eight of Cups, Page of Cups, the star. This is what I was saying. You're walking away and you're going towards your healing, towards your happiness. But you see, these people want to come in with apologies. But you don't want to hear these apologies anymore, Leo. You're done hearing the apologies because you're not seeing change from this person or these individuals. So you're focusing on your healing. You're walking towards your greatness. And with the Star, Nine of Pentacles, uh, Temperance, it's like you might be in the spotlight or something here. Like, you might be at the front. Yeah, look, Nine of Pentacles. Like, you're you're manifesting wealth, abundance, happiness, prosperity, stability. 
and some of you you might be in the spotlight like you might be put out in the front okay especially if you're online and social media but even if you're working i see you getting some sort of promotion or recognition here at the workplace an outstanding devotion yeah oh this read it just feels like things the reason why i feel so like uh, jittery i feel like everything's happening so fast every moon cycle that we go through it's like five or ten years are passing us by that's why it feels like things are going so fast so i feel like you're using the power of the moon to help amplify this transition this transition into greatness i suppose the hermit yeah so it looks like by august september you're gonna be doing your own thing okay you could be traveling here you could be doing like an extended vacation um or you know you might just be on your own regardless it's like you're doing a lot of soul searching a lot of healing knight of wands you're very much in a creative energy okay pursuing your passion living life to your fullest that's what i get <sighs> did you see how that landed right over here on this you know that this is the moon card right on the bottom of this deck tell me how the card that's gonna land on the moon literally it's gonna fling itself land on the moon the card is the moon what is the significance of this moon is there a secret a deception the world is at the bottom so yeah i was saying that you're you're closing out a chapter you're transitioning into a new chapter of your life you're you're closing out cycles with people places things that no longer serve you that goes over there 100 percent yeah, you see, Leo, you took back your power. That's what I see here. You took back your power, 110%. Three of Wands, sometimes, you know, there were times where you wanted to give people the benefit of the doubt because you're such a loving sign, okay? You're very caring, very nurturing. You're the light of the room, right? You're the spotlight. And it's an energy here where you were waiting for... You know, to, to give people second chances, third chances, or you were hoping to see the change or they apologized to you and you felt like they changed. But this was all to keep you complacent. Leo, they wanted to keep you stuck, okay? Whether this was a romantic option or several people, family members, friends, they wanted to keep you stuck from moving forward and pursuing and going after your destiny. So now you're done. You're done. You're going after your destiny, okay? Some of you are going to move to a whole different country. Okay, I am seeing Mexico. Others, I'm seeing Greece. I'm also, I'm seeing Valencia, Spain. Okay, somebody could resonate with that. Or Spain in general. Somebody could be moving to California or Florida. But yeah, like you're starting brand new and... There's a love interest. There's a divine masculine. Okay, you're appearing in the feminine energy regardless of your gender. But there's a masculine here that washes you. He, she, they, them, it. They're going to wash you. Yeah. You have a very strong spiritual connection to that person. But they're watching all of this drama unfold. So tell me about the moon. The moon has appeared three times. Look. The lovers and then the card that fell at the bottom i was saying it two of wands while you're traveling or you're making your move somewhere else or you're on an extended vacation or you're on a weekend vacation weekend getaway this person's gonna come in and talk to you okay somebody here from your past that acted uninterested but really never expressed how they truly felt towards you because we see the moon there all those times they never expressed it oh this read left me out of breath i'm out of breath i'm jittery i don't know if you can tell what do you have 
teamwork in reverse. Yeah, you don't want you you don't want to work with these people anymore. Whether it's at work or whether it's family, friends, you you don't want to you're you're done. You're done. The unseen. Yeah. But there was magic happening behind the scenes. This was all getting you on the right path. Yeah, the path of abundance. Like you don't need anyone to manifest this abundance. Forms a very painful sacrifice, but it's on a side. So for some of you Leos, you knew that if you walk away, like that's it, it's over, it's done with. But it's almost like you didn't want to go through that very painful ending with these individuals, with these friends, with these family members. But it's like, I'm seeing you guys propelling forward. You're done. You're done with it. Serendipity. <laughs> so you may get married to this person that wasn't showing you attention in the past. They just ghosted you, left you on red, left you on scene. Yeah, potential good news i feel like in the future you're gonna get married to this you know if they were ignoring you right they were treating you like s-h-i-t right this b-i-t-c-h this d-i-c-k okay whoever they are he she they them it's whatever they're gonna have a change of heart they're gonna change and they're gonna show up and be the person that they know they need to be when it comes to you okay but it's gonna take its time it's gonna take its time don't rush this Okay, if you know this is your person and this is who you're meant to be with, don't rush this process. It's going to happen in divine timing. But it is showing here that you and this person are going to get married in the future. Like this is your forever after. You're happily ever after. It's going to be with that person. Yeah, the masculine energy. He, she, they, them, it, whoever, right? Just because we see man there doesn't mean everybody's dealing with a man. Some of you are dealing with a woman, okay? So, but yeah, that's what I have for you. That's what came up. A lot of crazy shifts. Do prepare yourself. But I do hope you enjoyed this. I do hope this helps you in any way it could have. I wish you the best of luck. And I wish